Welcome to Hope of Glory Ministries. I'm your host, Reverend Sandra Campbell. Today, I would like to share a word with anyone who's ever been in a relationship where your heart was in it, yet you were still used, manipulated, and taken advantage of by that other person. Saints, as Christians, we need to be aware of the tricks of the enemy. He is a deceiver. As a matter of fact, he is a master of deception. He will take the very thing you love and use it against you to harm you and to bring about your downfall. This is why we all need to possess a spirit of discernment. It is a spiritual gift that will help us to discern a lie from the truth so that we can determine when there's a fox, even though he may be wearing sheep's clothing. Well, such was the case in the story of Samson found in the book of Judges. Samson was a judge of Israel. As a matter of fact, he was the most famous judge of Israel because of his signature long flowing hair and this incredible strength. See, at birth, God had given Samson a gift that as long as he didn't cut his hair, he would possess this incredible strength and nobody knew the secret of it. Well, this made Samson a war hero. And so he was just a favorite with the locals. Well, one day, Samson had a terrible lapse in judgment, even though it was his job as a judge to make decisions. See, Samson fell in love with a woman from the enemy's camp. Her name was Delilah. Uh, now, Delilah lived in the valley of Sorek, which was in Philistine country. Uh, we're told that Sorek was a very beautiful place, and the entrance of it was covered with these rare, fragrant flowers that just perfumed the air. I believe that as Samson went down into the valley to see his love, that immediately he was lulled into this false sense of reality. I believe that he entered an almost hypnotic state because he certainly could not discern the danger he was in. Um, the Bible tells us that as soon as the local lords of the Philistines got wind of what Samson was doing, coming to their camp to see one of their women, that they approached Delilah with a plan to entrap him. Um, they told Delilah that if she would entice Samson enough to bind him, that they would pay her each 1,100 pieces of silver. So she would have a great payoff if she would be part of their plan. And she agreed. Immediately, Delilah began to pressure Samson for this information about his strength. So day after day, she began to just question and batter him. And I thought to myself, this story is thousands of years old. Why is it that men are still falling victim to Delilah? Um, and so as you look at the situation, Delilah lived in the enemy's camp. She probably knew a lot of the people who would want to do him harm, yet Samson still could not discern Delilah. Delilah was of a different faith. She had different convictions. She didn't serve the same God as Samson. Yet Samson still could not discern Delilah. Delilah played bedroom politics with Samson. Yet Samson still could not discern Delilah. Delilah was demanding. Every day she demanded that he tell her his secret. 
and she gave him an ultimatum that if you love me, you would share what's in your heart and tell me your secret. Yet Samson still could not discern Delilah. One night, he lay his head upon her knees and he divulged his secret. He trusted her. He loved her just that much. And then he fell asleep. And she allowed at that point the enemy to come in and shave his head. After which they bound him and took him captive. Saints, it's so important that we have a spirit of discernment so that we are covered and protected from the traps of the enemy. All of this um, that Samson went through with Delilah caused his undoing. Delilah caused his downfall, yet he loved her. Um, in the Bible, Solomon, who was considered to be the wisest man in the world, prayed to God for wisdom, and God gave it to him. This lets us know that we can pray for discernment, and God will give it to us. So let us pray together. Heavenly Father, we come before you thankful for this opportunity to bless your name, thankful for this opportunity to call you Lord. Right now, we ask that you would reveal to us every wayward spirit seeking to do us harm. Lord God, we pray that you will allow us to discern every person who comes into our lives to deceive us, to entangle us, or to do any manner of evil against us or our family. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I want to ask a special requests for the body of Christ. I just pray that you will give us all a spirit of discernment so that we can discern Delilah in her sweet smelling, sweet talking ways so that even if we see her coming in the distance, we can declare that that is not of you, Heavenly Father. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Holy Spirit, have your way in this place. This is our prayer in Jesus' name, amen.